with every pair of shoes that we try, we'll have a new adventure, you and I. Where will my feet take me today? Nobody knows for sure. But come for a walk, I lead the way to places never seen. My necklace and another bead for my necklace. Huh? Cheapers! I used up all the beads, and my necklace isn't finished. Da, 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 da. Oh. Are you busy, Grandpa? Oh, I'm very busy, Franny. This shirt is missing a button. <laughs> Thank goodness for my buttons and buckles jar. <sighs> you could buy a new shirt, Grandpa. <laughs> I don't need a new shirt when I can sew on an old button. But if we went to a store, we could buy more beads. <laughs> oh, I see. So you used up all the beads in your bead kit. And I have to finish my necklace. I'm sorry, Franny, but we can't go to a store right now. What if a customer comes? A customer! Good thing we didn't go shopping. <laughs> and what can we do for you? The straps of my Zori are loose. <laughs> are they flapping on your feet? They're sliding and slipping. Well, your sandals will fit you fine after I fix them. You can pick them up Friday. Could you put these Zori in the fix-it box? Okie dokie, Grandpa. Where will my feet take me today? Look at all those spaceships. Hiroki! Huh? Yes, Mom? Have you finished dressing yet? Hey, where did the other one go? I'm Franny. <gasps> Hang on, Hiroki. I'll help you. Thanks! Hmm. <gasps> <laughs> Here it is. Super! Now I'm wearing all my special clothes for my Oji-san's birthday party. Oji-san? That means grandfather. That's him. Oh! I love birthday parties. Do you want to come? That would be fantastic! Hmm, Piffle, I don't have a birthday present for your Oji-san. Oh no, I forgot all about giving Oji-san a present. If there's enough time before the party, we could go shopping. Super, Franny. I've been saving up for a new spaceship, but I can spend my money on Ochizan's present. A kite! That would be the perfect present for Ochizan. Look, a butterfly. By that one! Oji-san loves birds! We better try out Oji-san's kite just to make sure it works. <gasps> oh no! Oji-san's kite! We can't give Oji-san a broken kite. 
Do you have any money left? Not enough for another kite. Let's go to Mrs. Yamamoto's gift shop. She has super things there. Look, a Rocket Ranger robot with real walking, talking robot action. Rocket Ranger robot to the rescue. A new toy for your collection, Hiroki? No, Mrs. Yamamoto. It's a birthday present for my Oji-san. <laughs> for your Oji-san? I'm sorry, Hiroki, but this toy costs more money than you have here. Mrs. Yamamoto, what can I buy with my money? For that much money, you can buy this. Paper? That's not much of a present. Oh, you'd be surprised at the wonderful things you can do with paper. There's an animal hiding inside this square. There is? I don't see anything. <laughs> you must be patient. You see? Wow! What a fantastic frog! That's super! When we fold paper into shapes, we call it origami. Can you make a bird? My Oji-san loves birds. If you buy some paper, I'll teach you how to fold it into birds. <laughs> and now, fold the paper in half so it makes a triangle. Be very careful to make the corners and the edges match. There, you're done. Thank you, Mrs. Yamamoto. Thank you, Mrs. Yamamoto. You're welcome. Wish your Oji-san a happy birthday for me. Wait, we should wrap Oji-san's present in wrapping paper. Wrapping paper? But I spent all my money on origami paper. Hmm. I know. We could wrap the origami in scraps from the kite. Hmm, too bad we can't use the stick and the string for something, too. We could tie the birds to the string, and then we could tie the string to the stick. Super! You better hurry, or we'll miss the party. Let's skedaddle. Happy birthday, Oji-san! Happy birthday! Ah. Hiroki, you remembered how much your Oji-san likes birds. We made it ourselves. Hiroki made that one, and I made this one. Is our present good enough? Of course. The most wonderful presents are the ones you make yourself, because they come from the heart. Hiroki, I'm very impressed that you slowed down long enough to make this. Origami takes a lot of patience. Mrs. Yamamoto helped us. She says happy birthday, too. These birds are called cranes. They mean long knife. Thank you both for such a super birthday wish. Yay! <laughs> I have to get back to my grandpa's now. Somebody's got to help grandpa run the shop. Bye! <laughs> that was fantastic! Origami crane! Another treasure for my shoebox. Oji-san, Oji-san! <laughs> 
That means grandfather. It does? Hiroki bought a kite, and it crashed. So he made his oji san a present out of origami paper instead. Hiroki origami? Yes, and I know how I can finish my necklace. You do? I can make beads out of buttons and buckles. <laughs> I see. That buttons and buckles jar sure comes in handy, doesn't it? <laughs> you can't find a necklace like this in a store. It's one of a kind. Just like you. Let's look at it in the mirror. Where will my feet take me tomorrow? Now, where did I put them? Hmm. Here they are. I got everything. Can we go now? Can we? Go? Go where? To the park. Oh, of course. Today is Tuesday. Uh-huh. And Tuesday is park day. Let's go. <laughs> you know, Franny, I don't think we'll go to the park today. Hmm. Not go? Why not? Your old grandpa isn't feeling so well. I think I'm coming down... <laughs> ...with a cold. You don't look sick to me, Grandpa. Can't we go, please? Maybe we'll go later, after I have a... <laughs> Uh, a little rest. Okay. <sighs> Piffle. A customer. <laughs> How can I help you? Could you fix these for my little boy? The toes have holes in them. Holes in the toes? <laughs> That's not good. We'll have them patched up by Friday. A good, sturdy patch should keep your boy's toes nice and dry. Into the fixer box they go. Where will my feet take me today? <laughs> Splishity splash! <laughs> this is fun! As Grandpa always says, it's a good day for ducks. What? <gasps> you think so? What? Huh? <laughs> Bless you! Thank you. You're welcome. I'm Franny. Uh, I'm Randall. <laughs> it's almost gone. Quack! What's almost gone? My voice! I have to give the other ducks an important message. Quack! But I can barely talk. I can give them the message for you. Oh, would you? They're over there in the duck pond. Quack! What should I tell them? It's time to fly south! Quack! I've got the feeling. What feeling? The feeling that tells me it's getting colder and it's time to fly south for the winter where it's warm. Like when Grandpa and Grandpa Fantuzzi go to Florida. Exactly. Quack, if we stay here, the pond will freeze over. <gasps> we won't be able to swim or get food. Quack. No food. I've got to make them listen. Wake up! Oh, what's that, dear? Randall says the pond is going to freeze over. <gasps> what? Quack, quack. 
Randall, there you are. Are you sure about this? Uh, have I ever been wrong before? Chew! Oh, quack! Why, uh, no, no, you haven't. But my ducklings don't know how to fly yet. Well, if the pond is going to freeze, then it's time for a crash course. I'm sorry, dear. How rude of me. I'm Darlene, and these are my ducklings. Marky, Parky, and Fluffy. Pleased to meet you. I'm Franny. Quack. Ducklings, formation, please. Marky, take position. It's a crash course, all right. Quack, quack. Parky, wings up. Commence liftoff. Come on, Parky, you can do it. Wow, <laughs> what's going on? Randall says the pond is going to freeze. You have to fly south. But we haven't eaten enough yet. We won't have enough energy to fly south. <laughs> this is a disaster. Fluffy! <laughs> 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 Oopsie Daisy. Nice try, Fluffy. But you're still too little to fly. Oh, Franny, what are we going to do? My ducklings will never learn to fly before the pond freezes. But Randall has never been wrong before. I don't know how the pond is going to freeze in this heat. <laughs> minute. If it's almost winter, why aren't the leaves changing color and falling off the trees? And how come there are daisies growing? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? It isn't almost winter, it's still summer. Oh, oh, but my feeling, I'm never wrong. When I feel this cold, it's time to fly south, quack! Hmm, do you feel chilled right down to your bones? Oh, yes, quack! And shivery all over? Ooh, uh-huh! And kind of droopy? <sighs> exactly, quack! Randall, winter's not coming. You feel that way because you have a cold. You made... Uh, I'm just sick? Exactly. And you need to rest and stay warm, and you'll be ducky again in no time. Quack! There you go, Randall. Have a good sleep. Oh, thank you, Franny. Quack! I believe I will. Quack, 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 quack. I better go now. My grandpa will be wondering where I am. Thanks for everything, Franny. Remember to flap your wings. <laughs> ah! Hmm, gotta work on my landings. <laughs> A daisy! <laughs> Another 
another treasure for my shoebox. Grandpa, how are you feeling right now? Not too bad, but I felt better. Well, you better rest. That's what I told Randall. Randall? Who's Randall? A duck. He thought winter was coming, but really, it was just his cold. So, Randall has a cold too. Uh-huh. And Grandpa? I don't think we should go to the park today. You don't? <laughs> no. You should have a cozy rest instead. You're probably right. But let's go and have a nice cup of hot tea first. Okie dokie. Where will my feet take me tomorrow? <laughs> 